Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to use humanoid control with networking. In this project I already have imported humanoid control version 4, but it uh, works uh, absolutely the same with humanoid control version 3. Besides humanoid control I also have photon pun networking in this project, and as soon as you have imported photon pun in your project, it is recognized automatically by humanoid control. I will be showing this uh, using a new scene, which I already prepared. It just has a main camera and a plane, and the rest I will be showing you in this video. The setup of a networking scene with humanoid control is a bit different than you normal in Unity. Normally you network instantiate an object and it appears in all the scenes. In this case, we start with the same setup as in a single player environment. So we can just place our avatar avatars in the scene, which we will do now. In the package of humanoid control, you will find in the samples of the uh, grocery store, some prefabs characters, which we're going to use here. What I'm going to use is a first person prefab as a starting point. This first person prefab has no head because it's being used as a first person avatar. As a first person humans normally cannot see their eyes, their heads, it doesn't need to be uh, there. And so we are going to use that for humanoid control. So we add the humanoid control script to that. And now you can see that the bones are recognized and printed. But you will also see that there's a new uh, area in the inspector called remote avatar. So when we have a networking setup, you will see the remote avatar object. And the remote avatar is the avatar the other users will see when they are uh, looking at you in a multiplayer set setup. So your first person avatar is the one you see in the scene right now, but the others will see a different avatar, can see a different avatar, it can also be the same. But in this case, we're going to use the high third person avatar for uh, the third person avatar. So other people will see a humanoid uh, with a hat. So that is what we are going to use as this uh, remote avatar. Now we still see a error that the uh, remote avatar is not located in a resources folder. For networking to use, uh, to be uh, working, you need to have this in a resource fo folder because it is going to be instantiated on the remote uh, client. And you can only instantiate objects which are in a resources file. So we take the make human high TP prefab and we place it in the resources folder we already have down below there. And now when we go to our inspector, we see that the uh, error is gone and we have our prefab set up for networking. So now we have the scene set up for a single player uh, environment, but how do we transform that in a multiplayer environment? For that, we only need to add one thing, which is a networking starter. So I create a new object for networking, and what I add to that is the networking starter script which is part of humanoid control. This will uh, instantiate a humanoid player uh, prefab in the scene at runtime, and that will take care of all synchronization of the humanoid across the network. So all the movements this humanoid will uh, do, it will be synchronized uh, across the network. All the movements, but also when the humanoid is grabbing something or letting it go, all these things are now automatically uh, synchronized just by adding one script, this is all taken care of. Or, uh, care of. To test the networking setup, we need to have two clients. And for that, I'm going to make a build of this environment and run it. So I will be using two clients on the same computer, but that works, works just the same as having one client on each computer. So now I have the build running in the right corner and now I have the editor running at the same time and as the builds and are exactly the same, the avatars will stand on the same place. But now you can see that when I move the avatar, 
it will move on the other client too. And you can also see that the avatar on the other client has actually a head because the remote avatar we have specified before is used for the other clients while the local avatar is different. So that's basically setting up the networking uh, for humanoid control. I hope this helps in your developments.